Hello folks, I'm back in here to share something with you. Um, I googled um, domestic violence in the state of Kentucky and I came up with this right here. See that guy right there? He, he murdered his wife with a gun. He's 78, 78 years old, folks. Yep. Yeah. So, um, if y'all get a chance, you need to go in there and Google all the domestic violence situations. It says, Pulaski County, Kentucky, the death of a Kentucky woman in what appears to be a domestic violence situation is under investigation in Pulaski County, according to the Sheriff's Office. The Sheriff's Office was, says deputies were called Thursday morning to 12,000 block of North Highway 27 in Eubank on a report of two unresponsive subjects in the home. It was originally called out as a two unresponsive patient, said Pulaski County Sheriff Bobby Jones. We later found out there was a gunshot wound. Actually, they thought there was two gunshot wounds. Sheriff Jones says that quickly uncovered its tragic nature when they arrived at the home of James and Doris Brock. A caller reported that Doris did not show up for work, so she went to check on her at home. When the caller arrived at the home, she found Doris and James inside. There were several people, even several of my employees that were on the scene that knew Doris personally. So <coughs> it was extremely traumatic, Sheriff Jones said. Based off of witness statements they gathered, Sheriff Jones concluded that 67-year-old Doris was shot and killed by her 78-year-old husband, James. It was a domestic violence situation that had gone for several days prior to this, which led up to, which led up into the shooting, said Sheriff Jones. James was taken to Lake Cumberland Regional Hospital and treated for an apparent overdose, but he is now in jail on a 500,000 bond and facing a murder charge. I understand that families argue and disagree, but when it comes to guns and gets that violent, it should never have happened, Sheriff Jones said. Sheriff Jones knows how difficult it is to report on a loved one but he wanted anyone experiencing violence in the home to know there is a way out. Even if it's just variable, it has not risen to the level of physical. Seek help, said Sheriff Jones. Reach out to someone, let someone know. Funeral arrangements for Doris Brock are set. Her visitation will be Monday, February the 26th from 5 to 8 p.m. And her funeral will follow the next day at 10 a.m. Those services will be held at the Lake Cumberland Funeral Home in Somerset. With the burial, it falls at Sinking Creek Cemetery in London. Yes, folks, this woman died from domestic violence. Did you hear that? Her husband was 78 years old, and she was 67. 
and he shot her and killed her because they got into it. And, and the domestic violence was going on with them for only a couple of weeks and he shot her and killed her. So folks, you need to think about this now and try to, if you're in domestic violence, you should try to find a way out uh, and do it safely because domestic violence is very dangerous and do me a favor. Please get on Google and Google different things on there because Google can tell you a whole lot of more about it too. But this is a very serious situation, folks. Well, I wanted to come in here and share this with you and there's a lot more stories on Google too if you wanna get in there and check it out for yourself. Well, thank you for joining my YouTube channel and you have a nice day. Please subscribe.